Hey guys, this is Graham here at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Hope you are having an awesome week and making a lot of music. I want to do a video tutorial for you today on Melodyne. Okay, now I've written about Melodyne. It is a pitch correction, uh, time stretching uh, software that you can use as a standalone product. In many cases, um, you can use it as a plugin for just tuning things in your DAW of choice. Um, or it can be a real creative tool for just making new melodies, creating new harmonies, and creating performances that never existed to begin with. So you're going to hear a, a guy singing a solo over an a cappella group, a vocal group, and I'm tuning the lead solo. So that's what you're going to see. Uh, when you import um, an, an audio track of any kind, notes show up like this, like a blob. So um, I'll press play. You can hear him hitting these notes going up in pitch and left to right in time. I've been walking in the same way as I did And missing now the cracks in the pavement Okay, so you get the idea. That those are his notes. He's hitting a G, an A, a B, then he's kind of, right now it looks like he's in between an A sharp and an A, and this is an E. So you can see on the left what notes chromatically he's hitting, and you can see the measures up top. Uh, what I want to show you is how you can pitch correct and other things you can do and sort of the cool things about Melodyne. Now there's a whole toolbox up here. This is where you kind of change your editing tools, but I never go up there. I just use a little handy shortcut. You hold control on a Mac and while you're holding that down, you can just move your mouse around. You've got all the different tools. So the selector tool is kind of like a smart tool in Pro Tools in the sense that depending on where you move it, it becomes different editing tools on the notes, okay? So I usually hang out in this mode, um, but the main one you want to look at is edit pitch. So now I'm seeing the same blobs, but I'm seeing more of his actual audio wave. You can see a lot of vibrato here. And missing now the cracks in the pavement. Pavement right there is vibrato's right there. So you can see that jump up and down, and you can see his pitch slide in and around what just the regular blobs show you. So the blobs show you consistently that's his average note, but really he's kind of all around. So you can get super technical or you can just do some some tweaking. So what I want to show you is just how we like tighten things up. Um I just drag it up to a C. I've been walking in the same to a C sharp. I've been walking in the same way. To a D. I've been walking in the same Now if you hold option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, you can click and drag, it's uh it sort of slips. So there's no there's no grid value. So So you can do fine tune adjusting there, and that's really helpful. I've been walking in the same way. So you can just sort of nudge notes into place a little bit more and you don't really have to make it perfect. And it doesn't snap everything to it, kind of like Auto-Tune does. It really just shoves it up or down a little bit, but he keeps the same performance. If he slides through a note, the slide is still there. Missing now the cracks in the pavement. So this one I need to clean up a little bit. And the cool thing is you can hear the pitch as you move it. So it's really supposed to be around a B. And miss another crack. And miss another. And miss another cracks in the. They're all one note. Cracks in the pavement. And miss another cracks in the pavement. And tighten my heels, strutting my feet. So you can just tighten as many or as few notes as you want to. So that's your main clicking and dragging pitch up and down. You've got pitch modulation. So this, this kind of can reduce some of the vibrato. So if he's right here, pavement. I can reduce his vibrato by just dragging that away a little bit. Pavement. So it's real subtle. You can give it more. Pavement. Pavement. Now obviously, that's unnatural. So you can just click and drag that. Um, there's all sorts of things. You can edit the amplitude. So if he hits one note really quietly, like let's say he's in the same way as I. 
like down here it's real quiet i can just make that note louder As I did. You can do a lot right there on the note. Now here's the other thing. Uh, Melodyne isn't just pitch stretching, it's time stretching. So these blobs can stretch in any way you want. So rhythmically speaking, let's go over here to the chorus. Round my hometown The hell Maori is a friend So Maori is a friend Memories are fresh. You could change the rhythm up entirely. If I get into the move notes tool. We can hold this out longer and move this over. Make it a little shorter. Cut it off a little sooner. So again, if the note was held out too long, run my hometown. You can adjust it or hold it back out. Run my hometown. Who the people have if I'm tuning the lead vocal right here in Melodyne, I can go ahead and make that edit that I would have done in Pro Tools. I can make it right here in Melodyne while I've gotten where I want it. Okay, now. What I want to show you real quick is just some global features, which is really cool. You can go through and, and uh, by hand tune everything, and I tend to do that, but I sometimes tend to start with um, a global tuning. So I'll try to undo a bunch of this stuff, but what I like to do is, and we'll tune on the chorus here, they have basically a quantize for pitch um, feature. And depending on which version of, of Melodyne you have, you may see that as a button up top. Um, but under the edit menu in mind, it's correct pitch is, is this command. So in essence, I can pull that up with a keyboard shortcut. And it, I don't know if you noticed it, but it just snapped everything in place. Let me cancel it and watch, watch these blobs. And they snap back out of place. So here is the vocal. Round my hometown. Just a little sharp there. Click OK. Round my hometown. Perfect. Now, what I don't do is that. I don't do a 100% correction. This is just like any quantized feature for MIDI. So the pitch center, um, so do you want to snap every note 100% spot on? So if I was sharp by a little bit, it's going to snap me right to a B, right to an A. You can drop that down to like 80, 85%. So the notes aren't going to be 100% perfectly in tune, but they're all going to snap much closer to the the note that it should be. And I feel like doing around 80, 80% 80 gives me a natural global pitch shift. So I'll do that in one instant and lock everything a little bit closer to whatever note it was at. Okay, I'm not doing any scales here and you can do that in Melodyne, but for right now I just do it chromatically and then I just go through and listen and by hand fix notes that either uh, Melodyne pulled wrong or in some cases Melodyne will take what it thinks is one big note, like look at this. It says this is one blob. Take a listen. He does a little run. He flips up, right? And you can see it right here. He jumps up, and down. It considers that one note because he's not on that other note for very long, but that's incorrect. So what I like to do sometimes is note separation. If it sounds fine, I leave it. But if it's slightly you know, flat, you click this last tool and I can chop it up. I double click around there and you can see now there's that little blip it let it separate from the other blobs and so then I just go through and I pitch correct so that's real sharp there. but I can manipulate that little uh, blip on its own so I'm showing you what you have control over in Melodyne it's a fantastic program so you can get it as a plug-in in a lot of cases, and there's different versions, and they've really recently updated it, especially with the new DNA features. But I wanted to show you the core of how you manipulate audio in Melodyne, how I use it for pitch correction on lead vocals. And I hope that was helpful to you guys. Again, this is Graham here at therecordingrevolution.com. Again, I'm writing posts every single week, trying to give you practical tips so you can get the most bang for your buck with your gear. And so you can grow your skill and you can improve as a producer and a home studio owner without shelling out a bunch of cash, okay? So hope that helps you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.